Wow. And I thought Shandu was an odd burg. Look at this place. The spirit faith is stronger here in Ajul than it is in Rashagal. Whoa, check those out! That's something you won't see anywhere else in the world. It's one of Kanbalar's famous mountain slide cars. What are they? Kanbalar was built along the peaks of a mountain range. Those slide cars connect the multiple districts together. Don't they look fun? I bet we could see forever in one of those. How do we go about meeting the king? I'll request a royal audience for you when I seek permission to use the wyverns. Don't get your hopes up, though. Many people come to the capital seeking an audience, so you may need to wait a bit. I suggest resting at the inn until I get back. I bet right now you're trying to think of a way to do things without Jurgen's help. Uh, just try not to make trouble for him, okay? He's a nice guy. Jurgen still isn't back? Not yet. Elise, want to do some sightseeing? <clears throat> Miss Elise, why not join Leia? Come on, Elise. Gosh, now that Tipo's giving us the silent treatment, I guess I need to pick up the slack. You, talk more than before? Impossible. Meh. Hey, just because Tipo's gotten quiet doesn't mean you have to. I'd love to hear more about you, Elise, in your own words. Shut up, Leia. You're the one holding us all back, after all. Huh? Elise, that was uncalled for. You should apologize. You must have really crossed the line if Mama Mila's scolding you. I hate Mila. And Leia, too. Hey, where are you going? Ouch. That stung a little. Not gonna lie. Please. Do not let it get to you. Uh, oh, I I'm fine. We need to get Elise back. Even great warriors can't fight on an empty stomach. Of course, nor are they very effective when they're drowsy after a big meal.
Try to stay away from the eaves of the houses. The snow on the roofs could tumble down on you. to be alarmed. This is purely a chance encounter, nothing more. Elise, I'm sorry about before. I can't imagine how lonely you must be without the old Tipo. I know I have a bad habit of opening my big mouth without thinking. Please forgive me. No. Come on, don't say that. I'll beg if I have to. I thought you and Mila were my friends. I hate you. I hate you. Can't you see that I'm just worried sick about you? Liar! You don't care about me at all. I don't want to be friends anymore. Miss Elise. Everyone is being kind to you right now because you have them so concerned. You say that you feel hurt, but have you considered your own actions? Do you realize that Tipo's words were just as hurtful to Miss Leia? I hurt Leia? Well, hurt is a strong word, but... You took the wind out of my sails, that's for sure. I had no idea. Why don't you try apologizing to her? But... I said such horrible things. I am certain she will forgive you if you ask nicely. Forgiveness is the sign of a true friend. Leia, I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Sure, but under one condition. From now on, I want you to tell me more about yourself using your own voice. Huh. You're not the boss of her. You're only three years older. Tipo, stop! Elise? E yes? Even if it's only three years, I'm still older than you. Right. Bossy Leia! Scary Leia! <laughs> There's a lesson here, child. Never take your friends for granted. So what do we do now? Jurgen still hasn't gotten back yet. We could just barge into the castle ourselves. For the hundredth time, let's not cause any trouble for Jurgen. That's no good? Hmm. It sounded like a good idea to me. Tipo, please! Stop saying mean things to Leia! But that's on you, Elise! No! I don't want to insult my friends! But at the bottom of your heart, don't you want to? No! You're wrong! Don't say things like that! Bad, Tebo, bad! Hey, take it easy, you two! But Tebo's been saying horrible things! It's all right, I don't mind. Always meddling with us just because you're a few years older. But... but I like it when Leia meddles. Yep, she really does feel that way. Oh, thanks, Elise. Guess I'll keep right on meddling then. Hey! Why do you always chomp my face? As a sign of affection! I've never seen Tipo get so close with anyone else before. So that was like a Tipo kiss. It was? My first kiss was stolen by Jude? <gasps> stolen? That should be my line. I can't believe I'm having this conversation with a puppet. Don't be coy, Jude. You have to take responsibility. Oh, Jude. Responsibility? Responsibility for what?
the line. I guess this king really does listen to his people. The king of Ajul is well known for his charisma. It is said he unified this strife-torn country on the strength of his character alone. A guy like that is sure to help us. Charisma only goes so far. If his government is secretly producing children like Elise, then he must answer for it. Thank you. Sorry, we were getting antsy. No, this is actually perfect timing. Are we good to go with the wyverns? Yes, I got royal approval. And something incredible happened when I requested an audience for Mila. What is it? When I told them your names, they said His Highness was looking forward to meeting you, too. Are you all famous in Rashagal or something? Uh, um, I don't think so. Perhaps word of the tournament has reached His Highness. What a great honor for our clan. Anyway, I need to head back to Shandu to ready the wyverns. Hmm. Quite the unexpected welcome. It's not a trap, is it? I have a bad feeling about this as well. You do? It beats not getting to meet him at all. <sighs> Keeping secrets from us again? Of course. I have to maintain my mystique for the ladies. <sighs> What does he mean? They say men with secrets are attractive or something. I'm not exactly the right guy to ask. Come on, let's go say hi to His Highness. Alvin, we really need you to be straight with us. Don't worry. I know you've put your trust in me. Considering the size of his country, Gaius's castle is actually pretty modest. I think that's admirable. <laughs>